I've used RIP uh, routing information protocol to set up the routing of this network I have not used static routing or anything like that I've used RIP and this is the RIP information here okay I'm going to discuss this network really quick so that you're not lost or lost or anything so these are two uh, routers here and then we have three terminals and there is one network here and one network here so the uh, network address of this network is 192.168.10.0 the network information I mean the network address of this uh, network is 192.168.11.0 and for this network of this router it is 192.168.12.0 and the network in between these two routers is 10.0.0.0 the IP address of this computer is 192.168.10.2 this is uh, 11.2 and this one is it is 11.3 and of course the IP address of this routers this FA fast Ethernet is 10.1 and for this one fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 is 11.1 and this is 10.0.0.1 so same thing with this router so actually what I'm trying to say is this entire entire network is created and these things can can ping one another so the network is done now we have to configure the ACL or access control list so to do the ACL or actually access control list what you do is okay when you first time uh, when you open the CLI thing uh, this thing will appear like this then um, what you do is config T config terminal and we're in a router now now what I do is we have to we have to set up the ACL okay the syntax for ACL is access dash list then the ACL number ACL number and then uh, permit or deny whatever you want to do and then the IP address then then the submit mask so access list i'm going to name the network uh, access is 10 access is 10 and then deny okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to deny the computers from this network to talk to the server but i'm going to allow this network to access the server so to do that what i'll do is access this 10 deny 192.168.11.0 and then the what is going on okay increase the size of this just hold on a second so access list 10 deny 192.168.11.0 and then the appropriate mask and it's going to be um, 0 0.0.0.0 255 well this is not the subnet mask because it is just the opposite of subnet mask and it's, it is given in this format uh, what is the technical name of this well I don't know this moment but I'm going to find out and I'm going to uh, write, write it in the description of the video but I'm going to tell you uh, a shortcut to remember or to actually deduce or uh, derive this uh, mask and it is like okay the first byte it's 192 okay so we have a particular value so first byte is 192 then is 168 then is 11 so these three bytes we have a particular value but we don't care what is the value of this one because we have to stop the entire network and not a particular computer not a particular IP you have to stop a particular of it stop a complete network so we are in, interested in these three bytes so for this mask the three bytes would be zero and the fourth one it is it can be anything like um, it's a network like so 11.0 it can be anything to stop the all network so we are not interested in the fourth byte so for the fourth byte is 255 as simple as that okay so access list 10 deny the uh, network address and then the mask and then enter okay then we to permit the, the other network so access, access list then 10 then permit and then any this any means we can we, to, we can permit any other network and this is it 
now um, we have to choose a particular interface interface ac2 slash 0 <coughs> I will tell you why I have given 2 slash 0 it is because uh, data is coming from uh, this network and data is coming from this network and it would go to the server via this one ac2 slash 0 so whatever checking we have to do whatever restriction or permission you have to do we have to do it at this level at the network level not at the server level we can do the server level but i'm not doing the server level i'm doing at this routers level okay so let's open the uh, cli again and then now the instruction for this is um, <coughs> Okay, I'm, I'm going to see this instruction one more time. Just hold on a second. It is IB access group. Then our our ACL number was ten, and it is out. Means stop uh, this X from the access group ten in this serial port. Stop all outgoing connections. So let's see if our ACL is set up correctly or not. So um, according to our ACL rule, we, this computer can ping the server. So let's try to see this is successful. Now uh, the computers from this network cannot ping the server. So let's see if it's really the case or not and it's failed. So again it's failed. So our ACL is set up correctly. So this is this was ACL and I'm going to tell you some things real quick so that um, you're not confused or anything I'm, really, I'm going to actually um, uh, um, tell you the important points of this video of how to configure ACL so to configure ACL we have to go to the um, we have to go to the router uh, we have to configure it at a router level first and then the particular port so first to configure it at the router level so uh, it's out of config so just um, from router hash to config t config terminal then router config we have to configure router here actually then what we will do is um, the command is access dash list then the ACL number it can be anything from 1 to 99 I think it's very close 1 to 99 we can give any number and then deny or permit like to deny we are going to deny something to permit we are going to permit something so deny then, then the network address and then the appropriate mask uh, it's not the subnet mask uh, I don't remember the name I said I'm going to give it in the description of the video but the mask is can be calculated from the IP address here and it's like this byte is used this byte is used this byte is used so 0 0 0 and this one is not used not used I mean the it's not specifically defined it's a complete network so for this 255 well what if it was 0.2 instead of 0 0.0 0 0.2 means we are going to deny a particular IP address right so we are, to, we are using all the four bytes in this case so in this case in that case it would have been 0, .0, .0, .0, .0. okay so this is it this is deny and then to permit uh, permit any means it will permit anything or we could have done is we could have denied anything like access list 10 deny any means we are denying everything and then we can permit a particular IP we can do anything like this this is a general format and you can play with it and then um, after the access list is done we are going to select a particular interface and then we have to use this command IP access group 10 out means uh, from this ACL list uh, ACL number 10 we are going to prevent all the outgoing connections we are going to follow the rules actually and in this rule it's saying that uh, deny all the outgoing connection from this uh, IP address range or more precisely this network address so it's going to deny all the outgoing connections from this network address and it's going to permit connections from the other uh, network addresses so I'm going to show you one quick one more quick thing here and uh, let's do exit here and uh, okay now config configure terminal well the command was show access lists and if you get this command show access lists 
then it would show you all the ACL rules which you have um, given in your router and you can see it and this is it um, this is it for this video if you have any questions do comment below and I'll, I'll be back next time